Okay guys, I'm sorry that last video was really fast. Uh, we'll go over real quick what we did in the last video. We set up a div class for this toolbar. If we take it out of the live view, we can see this class in here, how I set the auto margins in the um, CSS. So this, this is our toolbar. This is our div class of toolbar. So we go to our CSS and you um, call it the class by period and then toolbar. So what we did is we set the margins in the padding to zero to so we can set them what we want um, and have the default ones completely gone by toolbar and asterisk period or margin zero padding zero. Um, then we're going to set these margins. See how this is kind of floating at the top now. This is this is what I said we're going to do at the end of the last video. We want to add some padding to the top here. Um, I'd say maybe uh, 20 to 30 pixels. We'll try 20 pixels first and see if that pushes it down far enough. Yeah, I think that, that actually looks really good right there in the middle. So now we got um, our links right here in the middle, and it, which is exactly what we want. Um, and if you don't know how to code the links, it's just you took, put the A, the reference, pound. Um, that's what we have because the pound just makes it so it's not linking anywhere. And then item one, then close the A tag. Um, now we set the UL and the LI list to none, so that makes the bullet gone. The toolbar A, these are the links. We made the links white so that these links just stay white. And we set the decoration to none except for on the hover, which is um, toolbar and the A hover. We made it so that they get underlined here. Um, so now we pretty much have a full layout. So if we go just change this to design view, um, it looks great. We can go to preview in Firefox. And uh, when I get Firefox pulled up here, wherever it may be, uh, it's a little bit bigger than the window I'm in. Um, this is what it looks like in Firefox or Safari or whatever you are running it in. So it looks good. If you press uh, Command U, you can view your source. Um, <laughs> looks like there's nothing in it right now. When you open up your style sheet though, you got everything styled in there exactly the way you want it. Um, so, uh, good luck with all your web design tools and if uh, you have any questions feel free to um, message me or email me or leave a comment or something and I'll try and answer it the best that I can. Um, but that's how you take a uh, Photoshop layout and make it into uh, CSS uh, with divs and uh, classes and stuff like that. So um, if you have any questions, yeah, just feel free to uh, email me, call me, whatever you want. Uh, you can go look at my website, ChristopherLeanDesign.com, and um, eventually I'll have all these tutorials posted up there as well. So uh, happy coding, guys.